Alice, first of all, uh, congratulations for your first victory of uh, this year's campaign. This was not an easy one up to this point, this tournament, I mean. You lost a couple of games, you draw uh, the first one, you drew the first one, but finally you got that elusive victory. Congratulations, how do you feel right now? Uh, yeah, I mean, this game was extremely like crazy. Uh, I think I was like winning, I had a really good position out of the opening. Um, and then like after that, I just somehow I managed to blunder and then I was like completely losing right before time control, but I managed to then be winning again mm -hmm. and uh, I was able to win. But I mean, for me, it's really great uh, to finally get like a win because uh, obviously the start wasn't so great for me and uh, it's just good for me to go into the rest day uh, on a positive note. We always talk about confidence, we always talk about momentum in chess. Uh, what did you do after those difficult losses to get back uh, psychologically into this tournament? Uh, I mean, I just did what I normally do. I'm, I didn't do too much because uh, I find if I adjust my routine, sometimes it goes like uh, it backfires. So um, yeah, I just did uh, like my normal preparation and uh, trying to make sure that uh, I, I mean, when I did the preparation, I didn't do as much as I did for the previous rounds um, because I think sometimes at the end of the games, I got like slightly tired and made unnecessary blunders. Um, but yeah, I didn't do too much, but I'm glad that uh, at least in this game it was able to work. And just to discuss the game and uh, the critical moments of the game, when did you feel like you're finally taking over? I mean, so I played like knight g4 and then um, it was like, it was uh, knight g4 at some point. Um, and then she played h3. Actually, after I played knight g4, I was thinking about the That was towards the moves, beginning so. of the game, right? Yeah, yeah towards, towards the beginning. 17. So, like, after she played uh, h3, I was pretty happy because uh, here, um, actually, when I played knight g4, I thought she could play f3, and then I hadn't calculated that, and that definitely was something that I should have calculated. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I was thinking maybe I could take on h2, yeah. um, but there was something to calculate since the knight gets trapped. Right. Um, but after I played, like, knight g4, h3, and got the knight to e4, I thought my position was at least, like, uh, preferable to play because um, my knight on e4 can't really be kicked away by f3 uh, and now it's I just win in exchange but it then was. something went wrong it was you, um, you assessed think, it correctly it was winning yeah something went wrong and I mean I kind of miss this like c4 and I definitely miss bishop takes c6 um, yeah so here of course if queen takes c6 she would play rook takes b5 and uh, rook b7 so uh, king c7 I think also she has rook takes b5 and then I knew like I would have to be losing it just transposed but then she played queen a5 because I suppose it's like an immediate uh, win it's like um, unless I have a uh, king d5 and she probably missed king d5 um, otherwise I'd be completely losing wow wow and you saw this king d5 from afar you were definitely trying to play um, against her clock as well because she only had 40 seconds she was making those last few moves and she was only playing on increment at this point. So king to d5 and finally you felt safe with the king on e4. We kind of were <laughs> 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 laughing about uh, the journey that uh, the king engaged in, right? You uh, long castled, went back to a8, now back to e4. Like exactly how were you feeling when you finally landed that king on e4 and realized that she doesn't have a checkmate? I mean, yeah, after I played king d5, I calculated like um, that she probably, I didn't see any immediate checkmate, so I was like, okay, actually I should probably uh, be winning. And then, I mean, I think, I mean, this decision to go into the end game was more like, because, I mean, I, I might have had something else, but um, it's just very safe. And uh, With the king only for, I think, for, I think so it's a good decision to go into the end game. <laughs> I applaud that yeah. decision, Alice. Alice, congratulations. Guys, any questions? Quick question for you, Alice. Just in the moment, uh, I think it was move uh, 20. It was a bishop c5, and Kate and I were very enthusiastic about an exchange sacrifice. Rook takes h3. You decided to oh, yeah. snare the rook. Why didn't you sacrifice the exchange? Rook takes h3 right there. Wait, so uh, instead of knight takes f1? Yeah, well, uh, instead of knight d2. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I, I think I considered um, rook takes h3 because, um, I mean, of course, I was like considering all the attacks uh, against the king, but I think 
after uh, I thought like 92 should also be winning, so like why not? Uh, and then I kind of like I didn't realize how much initiative she had still after, um, because I, I was like uh, planning to sorry, uh, I was planning to like uh, take the bishop on c5 until I realized that maybe it wouldn't be as good. Um, yeah, and then here something went wrong. And then things went wrong. All right, Alice. Well, enjoy your rest day and uh, welcome back to the tournament. Thank you. Absolutely. As once again,